All right, the purpose of this video is to talk about how easy it is to um, um, modulate a parameter on an existing VST. So the VST that we're going to be uh, manipulating is uh, Dune 2. It's uh, one of my favorite um, amps, or sorry, synths for producing trance and other electronic uh, dance music. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start off by creating a VST for it. And I'm just going to grab the empty synth. So this is basically a synthesizer with uh, nothing in it. I'm going to uh, edit the panel because I'm going to be dropping some controls into here. And then we'll just open up the synth patch itself. Um, the poly synth here is empty. Um, so we're just going to delete it um, out of our synth. And in order to um, do any kind of manipulation with Dune 2, we need a Dune, Dune 2 um, uh, VST. So I'm going to open up my browser and go into VST Synths and grab uh, a Dune 2 here. Um, and so in order to actually generate sounds, you just basically drag um, the MIDI out and the audio out. So basically when I start my chords playing, um, just drag down the volume here a bit, you'll have the this chords playing. So in order to open up the VST, you just double click this and you'll see the VST in a window and you can just use it as, as normal. So just grab a pad here. That uh, probably sounds pretty good. And uh, when I start playing, that's what it sounds like. So I could probably uh, Try a different one here. So that's the that's the synthesizer. So I'll just hit stop. So what I'm going to do in my modulation is uh, I, I'm going to modulate this volume control so that it bounces up and down on my uh, on my uh, volume control here. And so it's actually really easy to do that. So I'll show you the really basic way to do it, and then I'll show you a little bit more complicated way with uh, with an LFO. So I'm, I'm going to start off by um, basically creating a, adding a module here. And actually, I'm going to do it a different way. I'm going to op open up the browser and open up a module, and I'm looking for something called par param and a parameter event module so in order for this to work you basically drag the blue to here first so I'm not going to do it but if if I try and do anything with this item it'll tell me you have to connect it to an output first so I'm just going to drag it to dune 2 and as soon as I do that then I can basically set the volume of any of the parameters. So here's all the parameters that are available to me in Dune 2, which is uh, quite a substantial list. And uh, what I'll do is I'm just going to drag Dune 2 over here and notice the volume control, right? So now I have full control over the volume by just simply uh, moving this dial. And the cool part is I can also drag this, this control over here um, to my visual editing sort of window and again it's going to control this this volume so that's all you need to do in order to have uh, a set of controls that work with a vst so we're going to do something a little bit more sophisticated than that so I'll delete this and i'm going to delete this connection for the moment so the first thing i want to do is i want to create an lfo so an lfo is a low frequency oscillator and basically it's just going to pulse uh, back and forth here. So I'll open up the browser and I'll find myself an LFO. And here we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, um, I'm going to set the frequency to three eighths and run it, um, sorry, three eighths. So basically run it um, at that speed. Um, I'm not going to affect the amplitude or the phase at the moment. I'm just going to let the LFO run. So when I run the <clears throat> when I run the LFO, it goes straight into this guy. 
and I'll plug it actually back into Dune 2 and set this to volume, which I believe is the default, yeah. So now when I run the the uh, the modulator, or sorry, run the um, the chords, I'll get this pulse, pulsing sound. So you can see hearing kind of... So I'm just hit this button. Make it run a little faster. So it's a little bit annoying at the moment uh, because it's running so so kind of slowly. I'm gonna make this run a little bit faster. Make it run now the problem with this with this um, with this modulator is that it's running um, so very high, um, like the rate of speed is very high and it's going all the way down to the bottom and all the way up to the top. So you get this pulsing effect and that's great, except for the fact that it's, it's simply too much. And so what we really need to do now is, um, we need a way of, uh, creating what's called a modulating mapper. So it's basically a, a utility to sort of scale the, um, the LFO. So modulation map. So we're going to take this mapper and we're going to put it inside here. So delete it from here and drag it to here and we're going to use the modulation input and move the modulation over here. And the other thing we're going to use is a, is a monitor just so that you can see this modulation working. So I'm going to pull this modulation out and put it over here. So you can see it running back and forth and I'll make this a little bit easier to, to see what's going on. Um, actually, I'm going to slow down the LFO here to um, 1 over 1. So you can see it running uh, very slowly. And you can see that it's moving a fair distance across the entire spectrum. What the mapper allows us to do is basically scale this. So we can actually reduce the amplitude so it's not moving as far. And we can set the offset. So I'm going to move this amplitude over here. Actually, I'll move it like this, and I'm going to move the offset over here as well. So the offset basically allows me to move where the center point is. So if I move this, whoops, if I move this um, to 0.75, now it's going to oscillate kind of basically in this band here, or I can have it modulate down in this band. So that's basically what offset is doing. And now when this goes into the um, into the volume, if we look at Dune 2, we'll see the volume here moving up and down. So what I can do is now I can move where I want the volume to move up and down on my, on my control. So if I increase my frequency here to say 1 16th, it's moving the entire distance. But here I might want to say, you know what? I don't want it to move so much. I want it to kind of wobble there. And I want to kind of wobble it a little bit under under volume. So now when I play this sound, I'll get a completely different effect. So it doesn't go all the way down to zero. It doesn't go all the way up to full full volume. And that's how you manipulate and, mo and do, um, um, you know, change the, the volume of a, of a particular item. Dune 2 is a fairly sophisticated uh, um, VST, and is, as you saw before, it has quite a few number of controls that can be mani manipulated this way. Anyway, that's it for managing, of, um, or managing, for um, modulating of uh, another VST within MUX. Hope you had fun, and we'll see you next time.